Welcome to the project demonstration of four quadrant chopper for DC motor using triple five timer. So generally, so four quadrant chopper has a six different options uh, options like forward, backward, speed up, speed down, and forward brake and reverse brake. So in this uh, project, we are going to demonstrate the four operations like uh, forward speed increase decreasing and backward speed decrease increasing, and thus uh, the direction changing will be achieved with the help of these two relays. So these are electromagnetic relays and that selection switch is this one is a slide switch. So we can change this by changing the position of the slide switch. So we can change the relays on and off position and uh, so that we can change the direction of this DC motor. So these two relays are connected in a manner of edge bridge. So the edge bridge is used to change the direction of a DC motor. So here we are using 5 volt operated DC motor which is of 1000 RPM. So the total system getting power supply from this regulator power supply board and also after selecting the direction we are going to changing the speed of this DC motor by changing this position of this potentiometer. So here the variable resistor will be uh, changing the voltage and that variable voltage given as input to our triple five timer. So triple five timer will produce the pulses. So as we know this. Uh, the triple five timer can be uh, used in three modes <coughs> that is a stable mode, bistable mode and monostable mode. So monostable nothing but it will just uh, provide the only single output position whenever it will get the trigger inputs and uh, bistable nothing but when it triggers then it will change in the position low to high or high to low based on the trigger for every trigger input and now we are going to use this triple five timer in a stable mode nothing but continuously it will provide the square wave and the square wave on and off time will be changes with the help of this change in uh, potentiometer so here whenever we changing the potentiometer variable this resistance will be define the charging and discharging time of this particular capacitor and based on that it will provide the pulse width modulation PWM signal to this IRF Z44 MOSFET and here the MOSFET is used to control the speed of this DC motor by changing the on time and off time and that output is given as input to these two relay boards and the relay uh, two relays are uh, used to change the polarity of this DC motor so whenever we change the polarity parallelly the direction of the DC motor will be changes so we are providing to the devolts inputs to this regulator power supply board so which will provide the 5 volts constant power supply which is sufficient to run the triple five timer along with two relay boards so coming to this relay board there are two transistors are used to control these two relays which are 5 volt operated and these two transistors will get the trigger pulses from this slide switch so whenever we select the slide switch position then the 5 volts will be given as trigger voltage to this transistor so here the slide switch on the transistor transistor on this relays relay will define the uh, direction of this DC motor there are two LED indications to show the status of these two relays and there we can see two diodes so the uh, diodes purpose is whenever we are on and of this particular relays so it will provide the back EMF ripples that will be neutralized with the help of this freewheeling diode and these two resistors are currently meeting for LED and a transistor so let us see the demonstration so predefinedly the direction will be assigned for one direction the clockwise or a counterclockwise. <coughs> so now the direction is assigned already. Right, I am changing the direction now. So in uh, it will more current. So just I am increasing the speed. Right. So now I can change that. In forward, in reverse direction speed dec increasing and decreasing okay again in forward direction speed decreasing and increasing so as we know this the triple five timer is provide the pulse width modulation by changing the duty cycle whenever we are changing the r value then the capacitor charging discharging time will be varies very uh, based on that the PWM signal changes on time whenever we increasing the on time DC motor will get the more average voltage 
so that parallelly the speed of the DC motor will be increased. So if you want to set very low speed, slightly rotate this potentiometer counterclockwise direction and then right. So now we can see the exactly the direction changing also. Right. Thank you.